Welcome, Marvel Sports fans, to the Italian circuit, race 9 of the Marvel circuits. In lieu of the present circumstances, we just want to pause for a moment and send our best wishes of health and safety to the people of Italy. We hope that our Marvel Circuits tournament is giving you some comfort and some happiness in this stressful time. Take a look at the track here. A lot of winding turns, a couple hairpins already right there. The drag reduction zone has appeared once again. Another look at these standings as well. Look at Pink Pearl all the way at the top. Overtaken Sea Turtles in the previous race. Sea Turtles had a very difficult performance there. Sparky will be first one to go in the qualifiers today for the Italian circuits. Making his way through these first S's around the hairpin. A very slow section here in the first sector. Then to the hairpin here in the elevator. It's going to start to speed up. Out the elevator already at 20 seconds. This is a little bit of a longer course than ones we've seen before. Around the final hairpin of the drag reduction zone. The rumble strip's going to slow him down a little bit. A couple of attenuators sticking out there. And Sparky will cross with 35 flat almost. That .001 second hanging out there. to put him just over. There's another marble on the track. You see that there. Gold Piston making his way, though. I don't know if that was a mistake or a... Or a official, a, a security guard or something. You caught that flash there. wonder what that was. Gold Piston, the split 1.321 over Sparky. Making his way around this hairpin. The other hairpin as well to the drag reduction zone. Can he take the faster side? No, he gets caught up on the rumble strip. Heading to... These S's slamming the attenuators there across the finish line, and it is 1.05 seconds over, 36.051. Old Piston provisionally second, off to a slower start than some of the previous qualifiers. These triangular shapes sticking out into the track have caused these marbles a lot of momentum loss so far through the S's here. Fast coupons, the split is under zero seconds, actually faster. And Sparky so far, 0 0.370. As we wake away through that hairpin. That one as well. It's almost like a anaconda shape up there with all those hairpins. Makes his way to the fast part of the drag reduction zone. Avoiding that rumble strip. Not getting caught up on those triangles. Crosses the finish line. 34.948. Good enough for the pole sitter uh, position. Pink Pearl. Will she have something to say about that? After the last race, she certainly is still in this competition. But Gold Piston is a dark horse coming up here late in the competition. Slow start, but recently it's been absolutely destroying these Marble Circus courses. So far in these qualifiers, he's not off so well. But as we know in Marble Circuits, placements can change in an instant. Look at Pink Pearl again having trouble with that rumble strip. Almost coming to a stop there. That will cost her a second. 37, 38. The split is 3.153 over, and she certainly will not be holding that pole sitter position fourth provisionally. Loose wheel. Taking a turn out there. Look at Pink Pearl. I think Pink Pearl's still on the track. It'd be a quick extra warm down lap, cool down lap after the after the lap. I don't know. It's good to see the marbles kind of stretching out there so they don't get injured. Through this anaconda here to the drag reduction zone, taking the rumble strip. That's going to slow him down a little bit, but not too bad. Avoids that curve there. A couple of triangles, avoiding them well. Cross the finish line, 37.523. Not fast, but not slow either. Beats out Pink Pearl. Sorry, beats out, beats out Pink Pearl and will hold fourth place. Peppers. Another chance for him to make an appearance fourth overall in the standings. Wonder how this will shake out for him here. He has one victory so far and a couple of decent performances, finishing second in the last circuit. I think... With a couple of another good performances, he has a chance at the top spot. 
In these last couple of S's across the finish line, a pretty fast time, only 1.155 seconds over. That will place him fourth, bumping Loose Wheel down and Pink Pearl as well. Take a look at Momonas here. Trying to put a challenge on Fast Coupins. We're still atop that qualifying leaderboard. He has won three qualifying races so far. Which doesn't let you any points, but it still is good to brag about. Through the snaking hairpins here to the drag reduction zone. Pretty fast to that rumble strip, even though he did not get to the fast lane. Across the finish line, beats out fast coupins. Look at that. Mamonas wanted to challenge him, and she did. And will take the pole sitter position. 34.575. It's up to Arrow Frog here to move fast coupins down yet again. Slow through the S's, though. Look at the split. 0 0.007 over. Still has a chance. Oh, but look at that. Skips down the elevator a good five places. That's going to put him in some trouble. Cross the hairpin here. How is he going to deal with the drag zone? Takes the slow end of it. 31, 32. I think he's just going to miss out. Cross the finish line. Yes, 36.052. 1.477 over. He will grab fifth place, though, and likely start in the middle of the pack in the coming race. Oh, look at Big Dog. Stalling there in that straightaway at the top here. Slamming into the side before that curve. That's going to cost some time. I don't know what happened there. Almost a complete loss of momentum. Making his way up this elevator. No skip downs this time. But will he handle this drag zone well? Yes, he will. Look at that. Taking the fast lane. 32 and 33. But I think that slow hiccup at the beginning of the race cost him a good time. It's about being consistent through the whole course. You may grab the fast end of the drag zone. You may be careful on the elevator. You may be fast through the final straightaway. But if you can't be consistent throughout, you can cost yourself one, two, even three seconds easily. Look at that sea turtles dropping back a couple places on the elevator. Now three places. Making his way around the hairpin. Certainly a little bit shaken up after that previous race. Losing that overall first place spot. Through the S's, very good through that drag zone as well. Across the finish line, a pretty good time. Look at that, only .319 over. We'll grab second provisionally. Bumping fast coupons down, but Mamonas will still have that top spot. Will Black Pirates have something to say about it? He's looking pretty fast and ferocious through those first couple of S's. So maybe he will. The hairpin there. Take it very smoothly. This course might be the highest course so far. Look at this end here with the elevator. That might be the highest point we've seen through all the marble circuits so far. Nice view from up there, I bet. 30, 31. Challenging that time. 33, 34. He makes it. 0.261 under Mamonas. And he will grab the pole position. I could tell he had a decent chance out of the start with a ferocious look on his face and a very confident roll. And he was able to grab it. Pinnacle of consistency on the track. That is Black Pirate, especially in this case. Nate Rivers is going to have a shot at it here through the couple of hairpins here. The snake sector, I like to call it. The drag reduction zone is kind to him. He takes the right side. He's quick through it. 33, 34. I don't think he's going to have the fastest time. No, by 0.633, he is over. But he will grab a decent starting position. Fourth place, bumping fast coupons down again to fifth. And that will be all 12 of our marbles today. Look at Pink Pearl all the way down at the bottom, starting from 12th. She's done that multiple times. Might be a not-so-great race for her. But eyes will be on Sea Turtles, eyes will be on Gold Piston, and eyes will be on Peppers, all marbles that we are expecting to do well. We will see how they do on Saturday.